Hello and welcome to a very, very special Gun to Battle Operation 2 featuring the Toad Strither. A uh, interesting unit in the long and twisted root of the Pell Rider Tree of Suits. It comes from the Missing Link game and uh, I believe it appears in a manga adaption as well. In game, it's a 650 to 700 cost ground and space capable general with a ballistic resistance and beam resistance of 26, a melee resistance of 20, a range strength of 35, a melee strength of 30, a movement speed of 135, and a thrust gauge of 75. For parts, we have close range of 14, medium of 18, and long range of 6. Uh, it's also melee priority two suit, I believe, and uh, it's very much a mid, uh, kind of a mid ground suit. It's good in a little bit of everything. For equipment, we have the Totsurter HK Buster. It's a knuckle buster gun. It can be charged. It's an ammo based weapon. It's pretty decent for what it is. We got the double beam sabers. It's double your nerf, double your fun. Then we have the chest mounted machine gun, a machine cannon times two. Um, it's not bad for throwing out some damage, not great. Kind of in line if a little bit better than one year uh, Vulcans, but it fires very fast and has some decent range. And then we got beam guns which pop up on the shoulders, fire a low damage but fairly quick firing succession of, ra of uh, beams, can do a lot of damage. Then we have the Incom Beam Cannon times four. It shoots out little funnels that are attached to, uh, well, they're, they're funnels similar to that of, uh, I forget the name of the unit, but uh, the, the pop out do some shooting and they're great. You can team them up with the Incom Tri-Blades. So you can hit somebody with one, switch the other, get a lock on, and then send these out to get them right after that. It's pretty decent for doing some damage. You'll see that in the match to come. Then we got the shield with internal mega particle cannon. It's pretty decent for what it is. Um, and then of course we have a large shield. For skills, we have Emergency Evasion System, level 1, High Performance Balancer, level 1, High Spec Ambac, level 2, Forced Injector, level 2, always nice to have, Melee Combo Controller, level 1, High Performance Radar, level 2, Wings Special Cushioning, level 2, Maneuver Armor, level 1, Hades Ability Boost, level 2, and Flight Control Program, level 2. I will be perfectly honest with you I am not good when it comes to any of these um, skills and I hardly ever remember to use them but uh, as you can see on the screen it can be useful in a pinch um what do I think of this suit it's a much more complex general suit which you'd expect at the higher cost so in terms of general it does add a lot more to keep track of and to understand how it works and it's a decent suit. It's quite capable of performing, but it can be a little overwhelming. And if you find yourself having too much trouble with too many options, you'd rather something a little bit more focused, this might not be the suit for you. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Welcome to the match, everybody. Hope you're having a good time. And uh, this is an interesting one. It was a situation battle. I've been trying to get um, a match with this unit for a while and Man, things have just not been working out. So uh, this one was kind of a luck situation where I actually got a little bit of a uh, decent action. Um, it's definitely an interesting unit. I do like it, but I it's just one of those ones. It's like the Zaku 3 for me where I just can't seem to get much in the way of good matches, even if I like the unit. So... I'm going to start this one by cutting around. Uh, I like to do this in this match, uh, or in this uh, map. I like to come around here because you got some cover. So I see a support here where I smack him and give him a little bit of the nerf. Miss with a downswing. Oh, no, no connect. We'll let the uh, Yaradoga go on there. We're going to fire some of those shots, but don't have quite the range. Uh, they get, <laughs> the Jager is going to come after us. We're going to knock him down with that one hit. Throw some damage in, 
and get him with the uh, the shoulder mount mechanics. And I see a Dowser here, so I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So we switch over to the uh, chest mounted cannons and just use those. And then there's a Dovin Wolf, but we're going to top by the explosion there. Come in, smack him a little bit. He stands strong, though, which is a good thing about the Dovin. It's uh, very difficult in some regards to, uh, to really put down on its butt. But he's getting overwhelmed uh, by our team. And uh, we're going to throw some of that uh, funnel out. We're going to turn around, drop that, miss, and uh, get hit in the back by our uh, Garadoga friend. Always a fun day. So I'm trying to come in and help the number three out. Um, we're going to split the uh, one guy here. And I'm going to use some of the funnels to just help put pressure on him. And uh, there we go. We got him taken out. And uh, they're still dealing with uh, the Bawu. Oh, nope, the Bawu's gone. And uh, we're going to turn around. Now, I do get a little bit overly aggressive because I come straight down here assuming my team is going to do the same. And we're going to target the support. And we're going to fire those. We're going to fire those. So you can really put a decent amount of damage on even against the support. Now, there is a cost difference here. Uh, we're going to just zip up and down a little bit and throw some people off. A lot of people fly in a very linear manner. Uh, I try to uh, use the 3D space as much as I can. Uh, we're going to get overwhelmed, though, even with the, uh, the more powerful suit. So I'm going to just try to do as much damage as I can. Uh, even though I'm getting worn down and, well, I'm going to get taken out uh, very soon. And there we go. First death. So we're going to spawn in at A. Now, I, at this point, I assumed that the match was going to potentially crumble and be like a lot of my other ones as we throw out the funnels there and get a little bit of shot on the uh, Bawu. We're putting pressure on him. Now we're going to throw out another one. But they do charge really, really quick. We're going to hit him with that, and we're going to knock him down and take him out. Switch over, fire, take out that Gaza who is going ham. And uh, put the backer guys up, using the funnels, and take him out. Uh, the Dovin is potentially a fairly dangerous unit. Um, but yeah, at this point, we're, we're starting to push, be more aggressive, and we're uh, just take him out. We have a team at this point. Uh, as you can see, this unit is really good at keeping up uh, pressure on people because you can switch between things pretty dang quick and throw a lot of damage out on people. So at this point, I'm going to decide to be a little bit more aggressive with my team following up, and I see a guy spawn at C. So I'm going to push over, miscalculate my shot, try to get it lock on, but the uh, the train's in the way. There we go. We'll throw that out there, get him with a couple of those. And uh, it took a pretty decent chunk off his health right then and there. Fire, he's gone. We're going to turn around, and this Gaza is being very aggressive. He's a very decent player, but we're not going to be able to let him get away with that, so he's going to be taken out. Unfortunately, he didn't have his team backing him up, and that can always be what gets you. And uh, it looks like some of their teams are going for a bomb plant. This can be an effective strategy, but eh. So teams over here fighting, um, uh, I always forget the name of this unit, uh, fighting over here. And uh, we're just going to help take that guy out real quick. Uh, we're staying pretty well grouped at this point. And I see a guy there, so I'm going to decide to start going towards uh, this. For whatever reason, they just kind of ignored me, so it kind of let me throw some damage out. And you can see just how much it did to that poor Gaza. It did feel kind of bad. I didn't expect to get put in this unit, so, you know. But hey, we got to show this unit off, right? So we're going to go in, smack the Dovin over a little bit. We're going to take a shot, but we're going to try to move because I saw the Garadoga moving up to my left. And I'm going to carry over and hit him with that shot. And we're going to uh, throw as much pressure on him as we can. 
Uh, this is one of the beautiful things about the unit. You can simply evaporate a lot of people uh, with it. So, the Dovin's trying to charge with his big cannon. That was not a good move, but what options did he have when he had this many people pressing him? So, we're going to keep switching between our weapons. we got some good weapon switches. I'm sure there's more optimized versions, but I like to start with the funnel into the funnel, the mega shield, and then switch over to the, uh, the knuckle gun, or the beam rifle as it calls it here. Um, I'm going to try to get a shot on him, but I'm going to miss Judge. I'm going to come in, not be able to get him with that, get sniped by our guy, and just simply back out. Because uh, at some point you get too many shots in the kitchen, and that was one of those points. So we're going to use our funnels to uh, get some damage in there. Now I'm trying to get him to go away, but uh, what can you do at that point? I also am not sure where our guy was. Uh, oh, he's base bombing. So oh, we'll catch him with that swing there. Take him out. We got the uh, the uh, Yag or the Jigger. We're gonna call it the fun thing called the Jigger. And we got the uh, Gods of putting pressure on us now. This guy, I congratulate him. He was definitely doing some work in there. He was not backing down to anything. And, uh, you know what? This unit is a pretty dang good, uh, unit to use. Um, I've not had a lot of good experiences, and this is probably one of the better ones. So, let's see how we did. Alright. There's the pose in space. Space pose. And we took all the board spots. Holy moly. And first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.